Unfortunately, the wind has made this part of the video unaudible, but basically we're talking about the unlimited explorer pass which we have gone for, which allows us to visit 11 attractions throughout the historic portyard. This is the original? It is the original, yes. That's what I'm And what to year be. did you say? 1860, it was launched. Younger than me then. Uh, and it has completed a cruise around Britain for some 2,600 miles. No, 2,600 miles, I should say. Uh, as part of the Channel Squadron, she celebrated at every port received a record number of visitors, a grand total of 301,000 in the past 12 weeks. But that was date dated back in 
spell out AJ's adventure. That's what I was going to do. Just oh. Okay. Can you say? Yeah. No. Oh, it's that hand has got to raise up for the J. I think. It's also it's like numerical as well. Yeah, but you've got to be facing this way. So it's that hand that needs to raise up. Okay, so A. Yep. No. J. No. Oh, it's the other way. Yeah. A. Yep. D. Uh, D. Yep. Venture. B. Other way. B. Raise your arm, but. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, A. Good enough. We'd, we'd, gone, we'd, be, we'd be dead by now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's a loop back round, goes through the hole. Well done. How's the field drum? Is that too fast again? Too slow. Too fast. Too slow. Too fast. Very slow. Ready. Go. You are too fast.
Nope, near Oh. when you are how easy was that one yeah okay John do the next one then How was that one? Yeah, it seemed easier. Easier? Yeah. Is that one easier again, do you think? I think it's, I think it's longer running. Right? Yeah? Okay. I can have a go.
Hello, John. What are you learning about number two? Uh, that it's been formed of limestone and granite, which one of six that we would And she's permanently here now. Yes, yeah, since 1922. 1922. Mm -hmm. Very nice. She lay undiscovered for hundreds of years, entombed in the seabed, until her wreck was finally located by a group of divers in 1971. When I hit me the eighth of that day, became king of England. Come closer, everyone. Come hither. That's, that's me up there. Hard to believe, isn't it? A great king should seek glory in just war and rightful conquest. Now, my ancestral right, I was also king of France, but I could not enforce this unless I waged war on the French, and to do this, I needed ships to carry my armies across the narrow seas. When my father died, I inherited just five king's ships. Now, I have near 60. The first ship I built was the Mary Rose, and I paid for her out of my own purse within 10 months of my accession to the throne. She was named for the Blessed Virgin Mary and Artuda Rose, and she proudly bears this emblem high atop her folks. I So this is part of the netting that was found on the Mary Rose. So it's designed so it can't be easily boarded from an enemy, but when it sank, it also then didn't allow soldiers to escape because they weren't really able to pull up or anything like that on it. So yeah, pros and cons of it. So along here is also the story of how it is found um, and tried to be restored. So it is eventually pulled out, brought up, put into a dry dock and made into a temporary museum. But as you can see, it was, was on its side but then in 2016 it was raised up completely and was turned into a actual museum. So what were you saying, John? All the objects that are on the left hand side are what actually sank with the ship and none of them are replicas. Cool. Which is pretty good. And each floor of this museum 
basically represents each floor of the, well, that can be seen on the main rise. On the main deck. He's in the carpenter. Oh, yes. There's a cat with the bartender man. I don't think he's a bartender man. But... They've even found the dice. I don't know whether you can see it. They are housing tiny. So, as well as the hull, the figurehead of the ship was also brought up as well. And they believe, or they can tell, it would have been a Tudor Rose. So we have just come out of the Mary Rose 4D exhibition. What do you think, John? It's really good. Um, gave me goosebumps in the uh, cinema bit. She's my step. Yeah. Um, and then, but it was amazing to see how much was preserved under the, in the seabed. Yes. Um, yeah. But I really enjoyed it. Uh, it's very good. Um, clever effects as well they show diving down deep into the water there are bubbles blowing at you <laughs> bubbles. and the seats kind of vibrated a bit as well but yeah no i thought it was really good to be honest um but i definitely think it's worth it what we've done um highlight just up between the mary rose and the victory what about you? I would say the same. Um, the Warrior was good and it's quite nice to go and explore yourself. Whereas when we went on the tour for the victory, it was quite nice to get a bit more history around how they lived and how everything worked. Yes. Um, so yeah, that was sort of my You highlight. found out an interesting fact about the victory, isn't it? I did. Um, and I need to remember what it was. Do you want me to explain? <laughs> Go on, you might remember it now. So, the Victory was the first warship to have a washing machine. It was. Oh no, it wasn't the Victory, it was oh. the Warrior. I, I, um, that's what I mean. It was the yeah. Warrior. 
I would actually add that actually we haven't completed everything today. No, we haven't. We've only done four, four five. five places, which is good because that means that we can come back again with our yearly pass. Yes, we can. Off. Yeah, so there we go. So we will probably sign off now. We will. Have you got anything to say, John? Um, as usual, like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed our content for today. And um, we'll see you soon. Come and join us on the next one. Bye.